Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to episode number nine of the Aston Villa career mode. As you can see, things were getting a little bit better. We did have a bad result against Chelsea, but I think we're getting a little bit better. We're currently sitting 13th in the league. A couple of wins will do us a massive, massive favor. And also, we're in the transfer window. So let's get on with it and see what we can bring in. So as you can see, we've got Brentford next away from home. Hopefully we can get a win against them and see what we can do. So we're going to go to the transfer hub and I'm just going to show you that I have put these three players, four players. I need to learn to count. We've put these four players on the transfer list. So Danny Ings, Traore's on there, Sanson's on there and Trezeguet. I have not used Trezeguet or Traore. And for me, they're not getting in the team and they're not getting in the team IRL as well. So we are trying to offload them. Get rid of them as players. Sanson, I'm not going to really use. I could probably bring in a better center midfielder. And Danny Ings has just been awful for us. So I don't really want him. And he's on £72,000 a week. So we're going to get into the first game against Brentford. And then what we'll do is we'll see after if we get any bids in for these players and see how we get on. We are sticking with what we know. And it's going to be the 4-3-3. I feel like we've been playing much better and performing really well with this formation. Also, Brentford are playing a five at the back. It's going to be tough to break down, but we can definitely do it with Coutinho and Bailey on them wings and Ollie Watkins running through the middle. Brentford away from home. I'm sure we can put a good performance in here and do what we do best and beat them. We do still have that redemption. Well, we, we beat them before previously in the league, but we do have that redemption that we want from them, of knocking us out of the Carabao Cup, which could have been a cup that we could have won, but it wasn't meant to be. As we make some breaking moves. As Bailey's going to run with his pace as well. Down this side. Cuts back in. Oh, I tried cut in and find the guy in the middle. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. We're going to whip this corner in though. A big way. Ollie Watkins is there. Wins the edit. Unfortunately, to no one. We do get the ball back. Coutinho finds. Why is Mings on the edge of the box there? I'm not a big fan of that. As Jacob Ramsey puts a finesse shot in. And it's a great save from the goalkeeper. Another corner in. We're going to find Ollie Watkins again. Oh, a great win from the... Brentford centre off as Mings is there to mop up. Who finds Ramsey? Who finds Konza? Oh, Konza tried to buy a, a through ball there, but not good enough. Brentford are doing well in this league as well. Not the not like the worst start that they've had, but they're definitely doing all right as we pick up the ball with a good interception. Gonna oh try to be patient, but the pass there was to the wrong player. It was a bad one from McGinn. He's not normally like that. We know McGinn's a bit of a better player than that. A workhorse as well. Always getting stuck in. And I don't know why he's misplaced that pass as they moving back and forth as Konza with a huge tackle showing his dominance and learning from Tyro Mings players moving in force forward as Ramsey plays Bailey through can we find Ollie Watkins in the box oh red volley no it wasn't meant to be he had it back down though finds McGinn finds Emi Buendia back to McGinn he's gonna have a shot good block from the center off as they break our way now with Big Ivan Tony, the muscle that this man has got is unbelievable. Holding off players and just playing off him as that target man. It's going to do him well as Henry runs down at the left-hand side. Another bad pass from Brentford, which we don't mind. Sees Coutinho running. It's a good pass through from Ollie Watkins. We're going to cut back, find Ollie, face Bailey. Bailey on his left, gets in and finishes it. A great finish and a great counter-attacking football. All come from there. Misplaced pass in the centre of the field. And we just broke and broke with force. Go on, we had about five players running forward then. I see here, Coutinho just cuts back, finds the vision. Ollie Watkins, one more left foot as well. A great touch from Bailey, just opens up that space to just finesse it into the top bins. It's a great goal. I say top bins, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a side net first. Great goal, 1-0. That's just another way that the 4-2-3-1 is working well for us. It's it's really well. We, we counter-attack really well with it. That's a bad pass. We counter-attack really well, and we get players forward when we need to as well. And it also defends with McGinn not just going anywhere. McGinn doesn't really run up front. We manage to get, like... Another attack, quite good, especially the Look, look, we've got like so many players just forward already. It's so good. I see Coutinho playing. Oh, he's played it. Another example. We have options. Ollie Watkins with a great ball across to Bailey. And just because they're not playing that far out wide, it really does well. As we, we try to play a cheeky ball through. As Ollie Watkins was making one hell of a run through, but we couldn't get it through. Good defensive error. Good defensive work from Brentford. As they bring this ball out now with Wiesa. A good ball down. To the right-hand side, Ivan Tony in there. Jan Lett's in there. Good one-twos, overlapping football as we get the ball back from McGinn. What was I speaking about earlier, guys? McGinn just being that, like, defensive midfielder and just staying back whilst the others attack as Coutinho is going to make a run for it. 
oh, good tackle. And yeah, coming in and winning that tackle. A fantastic last ditch tackle. As we would have been through one goal then and got a chance to double our lead. We pick the ball up with Emi Buendia. Great interception. As Ramsey comes forward, finds Bailey. Back to Ramsey. One more. God, it's a great strike, but it's blocked away. As we do pick up that loose ball again, a poor clearance. Like the panicking with the ball, Brentford. It's normally us, us that panic, so it's nice to see that it's not just us. As the overlap nearly comes through. Well, Matty Cash has now got trapped back because he's left a big gap there. It's Konza. Jockeys with the play. Good one-twos with Brentford here. Brilliant footballing from, from their play. As Konza battles away, doesn't get the ball. He's still battling, though. Good block. It's going to be a corner for Brentford. Ball's getting whipped in. Can we get the header away? We can't as Wiesa wins it, but he only edits it over the bar, laying us off and giving us a chance to breathe on this football. We bring it out, though. Nice and short. I don't mind. I like playing short football with our goal kicks. We haven't got really the big men up top to try and win the ball as Ollie Watkins takes one heavy touch. A good switch over for Henry to get it. He puts a good ball in, but Martinez is there to mop up, and that does see out the half. He's a great first off for us. I think we've just been pure dominant here. Great passing skills, great style of football. Awesome, awesome performance. And what we needed to keep on this momentum of a run that we have got going for us. Brentford get the ball in their second half. Easily take it off us. They're going to push forward with Gahoods. Uh, plays a switch ball, but oh, I thought Dingley was going to get it. Plays into the box. Back to Janlet. Good football. Oh, good save from Martinez. Another ball across. Can we get the ball off him? Ignore the good block from our players. Great stuff on the line. Defending as we do. Oh, that's a bad pass as well. We need to try and bulk up our ideas here as Mings battles on and wins the ball back. Showing his strength and his determination there. Great play from Tyrone as an awful slide tackle comes in. We see the overlap. As Coutinho is going to bring it in. He's offside. Good football from Brentford on the edge of the box here. They're just keeping the ball really well. Yet again, tried that little low, low dinky cross. Doesn't work. And we're going to break from it as Bailey runs out, finds Coutinho. Oh, Buendia. I thought Buendia was making a better run then. Unfortunately, wasn't meant to be. And that is a big chance for us gone begging. And they're going to break with it. Henry down this left-hand side. Can he get a whip in or are we going to block the cross? He does get a whip in, but Mings is there with a towering header once again. Showing his dominance in this defensive back line. And I love to see it as Buendia is going to come out with that ball. Can we find the right pass? Ollie Watkins made a great run. Great tackle from Ajay. Doing what he does best. And just mopping up. Seeing it out. Brentford come forward with Janlet. Good one-twos. One-touch football. It's really good for them. Cons is going to have to come across now. As Matty Cash is... Uh, sorry, Dingney is away. The ball comes in. He gets a deflection, but Janlet's still there. And Cons has to knock it out. Only for a corner. And on that corner, we're going to make some substitutions. So, I'm going to make the defensive ones that we did before. And we're going to bring on Douglas Louise, who's going to play for Buendia, who's kind of running a bit tired. And Sanson, we have transfer listing, but we're going to get him in the window so people can see what he can do and try and get the offers in for him. So it's going to be two defensive, more, more defensive-minded players. And then hopefully that will see the game out for us and we can get the three points. Ivan Tony's coming off as well, which is nice for us. That's big for us. Actually, number 20 looks massive. Who is that? Cross comes in, though. Big header from Ollie Watkins doing defensive duties from the attacking role. As Sanson wins that ball back for us. And we're going to try and break. Douglas Louise plays it out. Ball played through to Coutinho. Great stuff. As we break here with McGinn going on a run. Heavy touch. We still get it though. It's a tackle and it's a foul. That's going to be a yellow card, I think, from the ref. It's got to be a yellow card. No, he's just uh, giving a warning. We're going to play short, though. Nice and easy. As Konza's going to get it. Anyone but Konza there. As Sanson does get the ball. Plays it to Coutinho on his left. Oh, he finds a gap. Bends it around. But the goalkeeper equal to it and gets a wonderful save. As the ball gets whipped in. Ollie Watkins is there. Cannot get the winner. As we're going to pick up the loose ball in the second one. With Douglas Louise. Can he find someone in the, in the pack? Finds Coutinho. Back to Louise. Oh, it's a bad pass from Louise. It's poor from us. Poor from us. Got a big chance now for Brentford to push forward. As Fours come through. I didn't know Fours was that that tall. Holy smokes. I thought he was smaller than that. Fours. Good football from Brentford. Finds the silver. Tries to cut it back. But Cons is there just to mop up. As we go back to the goalkeeper. And play it a little bit smooth. I didn't want to just whack that out. Because it would pile pressure on. That's a heavy touch. Leading to a big mistake like we normally do. In the box. What a save from Martinez. Oh my days, he's kept us in it, he's kept us in it. No silly passes, no silly passes. 
As Ollie Watkins is through now with a great ball from Bailey, linking up yet again. Can he finish the game off? Ollie Watkins, he does. He doubles the lead. And what a through ball that was from Bailey. And that should be three points wrapped up right there. Ollie Watkins in acres of space, just finding it. Cuts across the goalkeeper, uses his strong left foot and just finishes it beautifully. And that gives us that two goal lead we're on about. We've kind of got our grips with Brentford now. I think the redemption is over after knocking us out of the cup. So we could safely say Brentford are now off the list as Bailey's making a run. It's a great ball. That's an unbelievable. Coutinho is just so good on this game. As Ollie Watkins bursting through. I see him. Going to put him on his left. No, I'm not. Going to cut back. Good tackles in there. Just waited a little bit too much then. And the ball just gets mopped up off as poor from us. We should have had a chance to get a goal then. But we just messed it up drastically. Some good play down this wing. As Brentford try and push forward. Try and get an extra goal. Try and put a bit of pressure on us for the last five minutes. As the ball gets played into the box. Wiss is there. Played back to the wing. A good ball in. Can we get the header? It's not. It's, oh, falls with a great header down as well. Try and make it difficult for the goalkeeper. But he is absolutely equal to it as Martinez. Yet again, earning his pay. This goalkeeper is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Best bit of business, I think, Aston Villa have done. With Coutinho. Great, great business. We bring it forward now with Douglas Louise. There's a lot of tackles being thrown about here. A lot. And I understand frustration, ref. But it's got to stop, okay? Going to play it short. To Douglas Louise. He's going to, I'm going to, to rip snorter. He hits it. Oh, goalkeeper catching distance. And that is going to be the final whistle. That's why I went for that shot. <laughs> we, we went for it risky and we thought stuff it. It's the last minute. Let's go for it. But it's a two goal lead that we, two goal win. And that gives us an extra three points. Boosters our morale. And we go again into the next one. First offer in for us is for Morgan Sanson, and it is £10.6 million. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and do some haggling and see if we can get £12 million for him. There we go. So we changed it to £12 million. Let's see if Una Emery wants to give me £12 million for him. Submit that offer. There we go. £12 million is set. That is job done. Sanson can go for £12 million. We'll take that. We can also use that budget now to bring in like a more solid defensive midfielder or... We can use it to go more attacking. We'll see what we can do. We have got a game in the cup, but we're going to sim this one, guys. It is the FA Cup. We are at home to Derby, struggling Derby as well. Obviously, with the point deduction and all the shenanigans that are going on there. So, we're going to sim this one. I'm going to play some of the youngsters, and we'll see how we get on. The team is going to look like that. Forrest comes in, the youngster that's come through the youth ratings. He's come in. Then we've got Douglas Louise in there. House is in there as well, and that's going to be what we play. We have given Danny Ings a game as well. Hopefully, he can get on the score sheet. Want to say, boost his profile and the window shopping of other people so they can come in and try and buy him offers. Let's quick sim this one and see how we get on. There we have it. We do get a 2-1 win, which sees us through the next stage of the FA FA Cup. Early signs of weakness there as with Lawrence and Thomas, a fantastic player, gets on the score sheet early in the 25th minute. But Jacob Ramsey and then Danny Ings getting on the score sheet as well. Chupamaker getting in on the action as well, which we'd like to see for 15 minutes. But it's a win and we move on in the FA Cup. Maybe we go for a run in that one. Who knows? Who? Maybe, just maybe, we can get some silverware in this league as well. We have a bid come in from Real Betis for Bertrand Traore. So we're going to try and sell him on as well. We'll get a negotiation there. So with Sanson, it looked like they just accept you straight away. So what I'm going to try and do is try and get 15 million for them this time. Let's see if that works. And I'll be happy with just 15 million. Submit offer. That is a very nice mullet you have there, sir. Okay, so he's saying there's a huge gap in there. So 15 million was a little bit too extreme. So, oh, they're not even going to counter offer. There's no point continuing this conversation. All the best. Oh, okay. Don't let the door hit you on the back of my way out. Okay, I thought they were going to negotiate with us. Clearly not. Clearly not. It's the 14th of January now, and we have Manchester United at home. We're going to play this one, and then after that, we'll look at transfers to see who we can bring in and what type of players we need for this club to take us to the next level. But let's get into the Manchester United game. Try to get a win against them. And just put in one hell of a performance. That's the normal team that we're going with. The 4-3-3. Coutinho, Bailey, Wendy and McGinn, Ramsey, Watkins. The full shebang. They've had a good rest. Some of the players have as well. Because they didn't play in the derby game. So they're going to be up for this one. And we're going to take on Man United. We have some revenge against Man United. That needs to be served on a plate. So let's get in there and get on with them. Whoa. These are the day games that we look forward to. Playing Manchester United at home. Bringing the big boys out of Ronaldo, 
You've got Pogba in there as well. Sancho's on the f on the t list. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. So we bring this ball forward. Jacob Ramsey starting again. I tell you what, he's been crucial for us. He's been really well. We bring this ball forward. Ollie Watkins tries a little dink over, but Luke Shaw equal to it easily. As big Bruno Fernandez is going to bring that out. Plays a great ball to Sancho. Ronaldo through. Good little dribble back to Bruno. Plays to Sancho again. To Bruno. These are like these these players are unbelievably talented with the ball. So we just got to be careful as we do get a brilliant win in the middle there. We bring it through with Coutinho. I see Bailey's just just stayed on side there. And cut back on his left. Finds Ollie. Ollie Watkins. Oh, I thought that was in. I generally thought that was in. It was a great play. It was a great movement as well by Bailey. Tried to play the ball in. I think we've learned to play a lot more patience and good build-up play. As we bring this ball out. Like in the middle here, we just play really well as Coutinho brings it forward. That's disgusting referee. Holy, what are these slide tackles? It's have, have they got a vendetta against us? We're going to take this on. Over the wall. Oh, straight into the keeper's hands. We need to learn to do free kicks, I guess. I played the bomb ball. Oh, wow, Ronaldo stretching. We've lost it, though, as the ball comes in. And it's a great strike and an unbelievable save from Martinez yet again. I might on the sliders low down, lower down Martinez's... Uh, I might lower down the, the sliders for Martinez to be a little less clinical. And then as the ball comes in. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. As Ronaldo smashes the ball in from the corner. I was just talking about the sliders there. But Ronaldo, with his unbelievable finishing, finds himself in acres of space in the box and just smashes the ball in. And Martinez... Potentially should have done better, but couldn't get the ball. Good ball from Fred. Good turn as well. Beats him front post. Wasn't meant to be. As Ronaldo, well, Ronaldo does take the lead for Manchester United. I was saying that we've been playing better. So let's get our reds down. Focus. Play a little bit better. As we play some one-twos here. Jacob Ramsey with the ball. We're in the box, which is nice. Oh, it's a bad pass. But Ollie Watkins does get the ball. Oh, big slab head gets the win the way. Great tackle from Maguire. We win the ball there from Matty Cash. Great feet from McGinn. Fans, Jacob Ramsey. Oh, the through ball was on, but we didn't put enough power on it. It was a great run from Coutinho as well, but Ollie Watkins could not get the right amount of power on that through ball. It was Manchester United. Now break. Good play from my United. Plays it over to Bruno. Finds Sanchez. Sancho, sorry, Sanchez. Good defensive work from our players. And I think Martinez just put the player off there as Ollie Watkins is going to power forward. He's going to pass run Maguire every single time. As I see a back stick ball coming in. It's wide open. It's there. Oh, good save from De Gea. Great. As a big ball comes across. Find Ronaldo. Going to just jockey him. Nothing silly here. As oh, Digne wins the ball back for us there. Tremendous play from Digne. We bring this ball out. Great through ball. We see Bailey making a run. Can he get it before? Yes, he can. I see Jacob Ramsey there. That's a bad. That was bad play. A bad decision from us as well. I thought he was going to play that over to Jacob Ramsey. Doesn't. But he gets intercepted by the Manchester United center offs, And they now break with his Fred bringing it out to Pogba. All the way across to Bruno. They're going to just handle, handle the ball in the middle here. Nice and easy as Pogba pushes out wide on the right-hand side. Good play from them as well. Good tackle from Mings. Showing him who's boss. Putting him in his place. United's going to whip this ball in. It's a good header away from Coutinho on the front post. He's going to try and push this, try and put pressure on Fred, see what he can do. Just turns easily. Fernandez on the right-hand side. Good ball movement. Very well played as Fred looked for the good overlap there. Back to Fernandez. we just got to be... Just got to be that. Buendia playing it out wisely. Just playing it out. Calm, cool, collective. It's the style of football that we play. We liked the passing game. There's Ollie Watkins with a heavy touch there, but he's still got the ball, luckily. Kings try getting him on his left. The overlap's there. Buendia back on his left. Ollie. Oh, it's a good block yet again from Varane this time. Just cutting us out, not letting us get them shots off the edge of the box. We can't work away in the box to defend him really well at the minute. And it's hard to break down for us. The ball gets played down this right hand side. Good one twos. As they push into the box. Oh, good save from Martinez. It's an absolute fantastic instant reaction save and keeps us alive in this game. Corner taken short. Sancho's going to get it. We need to deal with this and then that should see us to half time as we run straight past him. We're going to jockey him. Oh, the ball comes in. Ronaldo with a good block. And then we play it out and that is going to be the half time. Not what we've been like. We've been all right passing and building up the play. But as soon as we get into like their area, we just lose control and we don't know how to break that down. 
Ronaldo with an unbelievable finish like normal. He's going to do that every single day of the week. So we can't fault that. We're going to the second half. I think we can pull this back and get a draw potentially. But let's see how we get on. Second half, underweight. Let's get straight into it. Show them what we can do. Show them we mean business. Try and get this draw. A draw will be great. I will take a draw every single day of the week here. Especially against Manchester United. As we push forward now with Coutinho. Finds Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins makes a great run. Finds a ball in the box. That's a great strike. Oh, it's a good block as well yet again. Coutinho... Tries to do a little bit of dancing, but Pogba's equal to him and just mops him off the field there. The way that Manchester United have been spreading the ball has been absolutely brilliant, and I can't fault him one bit as the ball comes across. Can we get the winner in there? As Jacob Ramsey wins it lovely, and we're going to get a good run with Bailey here, spreading his legs. Excuse me, spreading his legs. He's going to spread his feet and run down as we cut back. An unbelievably bad pass there, which is going to lead to a Manchester United attack, I think, on the counter as uh, Ming's beautifully intercepts that pass there and stops the rot. We get lucky there. and Emi Buendia picks up that loose ball, finds Digne on the run, pushes it forward. I've got two players over the other side. As the ball gets over the top, it's a great header, and it's a goal! Hey, Leon Bailey, what a ball. What vision that was as well to find Bailey, and he just tipples it over the fullback, and it's a great header as well, which lobs the keeper, kind of, into the far corner, David De Gea in no man's say, but that was just a great goal, and I can't fault it. 1-1, back in it. Sancho down this left-hand side, using his pace really well. We have to be careful with him because he's got great agility, but there he just does the wrong thing. It takes a heavy touch, and we pick that ball up, and we break. Have we got the momentum on our side as Ollie Watkins makes the run? We see Coutinho. Can we get the ball to him? No, we can't. It's a great tackle from Varane, showing his experience and domination in the centre-half position there. Oh, it's good play from my United. Good winning in that middle as well. 50-50, and they come out on top with Fernandez getting in there. Good little switch over back to Sancho. Got to be careful with him. See what he does as Fred's on the ball. Finds Fernandez. Good tackle from Digne in his pocket all day, every day. As we bring this out with Emi Buendia, great little play. Coutinho just going to take it back, take a time. Just build on this play as Leon Bailey makes the run. I see him. I see oh, it's a bad pass, unfortunately, though. Through ball was not meant to be. And Man United look to break as they catch us on the counter-attack here. Matty Cash, though, with Sancho. Going to try and bully him out. Bad pass. Bad pass. But oh, they get away with it, though. Back to Luke Shaw on this left side. Cuts in. Finds Ronaldo. Good one-twos. Cons is out of position here. That's not good. It's Fred in the middle. Passes it to Fernandez. Got a great ball to Sancho. Can we get rid of it? Mings, lovely play. Going to try and challenge for the header, but Luke Shaw staying strong as Ronaldo hits the ball. But Martinez with a great save, keeping us in it yet again. I'm going to give this man like a 20 year contract. We're going to make some substitutions, actually. I did see that there. Coutinho is going to come off. We're going to bring Forrest on as Guillen. And then we're going to bring Douglas Louise on for Emmy Buendia. Bit of defense and then giving Forrest some. 15 minutes game time. Try and get that lad his first goal. And a first goal against Manchester United would be amazing. They play it short to Fernandez. Back to Rashford. Good tackle, but only to their player. Unfortunately for us, they still got a dangerous attack here. As the ball bounces back to them again and again. Try and muscle him off. I don't know how it's not gone in or gone anywhere near. Oh, he's been muscled off the ball. A good block from Konza. Oh, we keep ourselves in this game. As we now break and push it forward. As we stride forward and begin. Finding Douglas Louise. Heavy touch only to Wambasaka, and he just passes it back to his center offs as they're going to calm it down and mop this up for them. Tomine on the pitch. A bad pass from him as well. Douglas Louise gets the ball, finds McGinn, finds Ramsey to Ollie Watkins to Douglas Louise, finds Forrest. Can he? Oh, that's a poor touch from Forrest. It really is. A bit of pressure getting to him there. It is Manchester United. It is a big, high intense game. Maybe we shouldn't have put him on, but hopefully he can deal with the pressure. And come back. wan down on this right-hand side. Pushes forward. As Digne loses out by getting the wrong side of him. wan again with great turning. Plays it to Rashford. Back to wan To Rashford. To wan -Bissaka. Good one-twos. Keeping us out of the game here. As Mings in the box there. Does what he does best. And just mops it up. And plays it through. As we see Leon Bailey with a huge clearance. Maguire reads it like a book though. Wasn't the best for delivery. But Maguire does what he does. And mops that up. And brings it out of play as Manchester United push down this left hand side on theirs. Sancho brings it through, tries a through ball. I should put it pushing through with the centre now. Plays it to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, Matty Cash is there all day, every single day. 
as Bailey's going to bring this out now. Uses his pace, bounces past, cutting through the center. Sees the ball, a great ball as well. To Ramsey, back stick. Can he find Foster? Foster does it. He absolutely does it. The young lad coming on in the 90th minute and wins the game against Manchester United. What a counter attack. And what like the managers involved as well. We're all in there. Get in there. What a fantastic goal that was for us. Unbelievable scenes. As Forrest gets his goal, the youngster, we give him the time from Jacob Ramsey, the youngster, to Forrester, the youngster, and he volleys it in from the six-yard box. He is absolutely loving that. The old bicycle kick. Paolo Di Canio would be proud. Come on. Oh, dear. And he's there. There's no time. It was the last kick of the game. There was no time to see us on. And we get three points against Manchester United. Absolutely massive. What a result. And I'm over the moon for Forrester to get on the score sheet as well. Let's go. I'm just looking through players right now. I'm trying to think of who we can actually bring in that will uplift this team to a better situation. Now, I'm really enjoying Konza, and he is developing really well. Managed getting him up to an 80 at the minute. Wendy is doing all right for us. I am playing him as a uh, CM as well, so we could potentially get in a better creative player in the center mid. Bailey's just doing a job. Danny Ings is out, hopefully. Uh, Dingney's class as well. So, really, the only players that we really need to get in is probably a midfielder, and that's about it. Uh, Matty Cash as well. Fullbacks are not too bad. I could probably get another fullback in just in case one gets injured. But for me, I think it's going to be a midfielder. So let's have a look at some midfielders and see how we get on with them. Dominique Tavolislai, I'm going to write off. I forgot that he moved to Leipzig. I thought he was still at Salzburg. If he was at Salzburg, I would have got in for him. He has been written off. I'm not going to go for him. Ayushi is also a left mid, but we can play in the CM position as well. So we've got to scout for him. He is 19 years old. He's playing for St. Etienne. I think this could be a realistic signing for us. So we're going to see what the scouts come back and say, as we can't see anything on him yet. But I feel like he's going to be a real good player and we could potentially use him as a creative player. And also, Frank Kess. Now, Kess is going to cost us a lot of money. But, and hear me out, he is out of contract with AC Milan as of next year. So I think it is reasonable for us to try and sign him because potentially we are going to be aiming for the Europa League. If this is too much of one, let me know down below in the comments and just say, look, take this one's a bit unrealistic. We can get him probably for about 45 million, which is what Aston Villa can pay. They can pay that money and they can pay his wages. So I'm going to leave them ones for you. And then in the next episode, I'll decide then if or not we go for him or not. But guys, we're going to get into the last game of the day, which is going to be against Everton. And we're going to sim this one. See if we can get a win. Same team that we've been playing all the time. I am happy with that. So let's try and get a win. And we get a 2-0 win. Ollie Watkins and Emmy Wendy again on the score sheets. Maybe I don't need to bring in that CM. Emmy Wendy is doing the job for us already. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. And we are absolutely flying now. Some fantastic results. And we are finally playing some wonderful, wonderful football. Let's have a look at the standings nice and quick if we can. So the standings are looking pretty good now. We are ninth. I am very happy with that. Okay, we're 12 points off fifth with them having a game in hand as well. But I feel like if we can get sixth for seventh, that can give us Europa League football, which can offer us a massive different look on who we can bring in. The club's reputation goes up as well. More money from TV revenue and stuff like that, which means then we get better players. We're getting a little bit carried away. That's where it's going to be. And that is going to be a fantastic week for us as well. But guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. If you did like it, please leave a like. Hit the subscribe down below. It helps me out massively with all the algorithms and all that lot. If you do want to see more content from me as well, I am live over at Twitch, www.twitch.tv forward slash tick147. Pretty much every single day, except for Tuesdays and Thursdays. But guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the signings that we're potentially going to get. And if we do get them, are they good ones? Or do you reckon they're a bit uh, not, not realistic enough? But guys, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll catch everyone next time. Much love and bye-bye.